everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm going to do some fun crafting today, something that I'm not sure about, but come along for the ride and we'll see how it all happens. I have my window envelopes that I have been collecting, you know, that uh, I'm sure you have some as well. And I have my dried flowers. And I just had this idea of taking my envelopes, cutting them, putting some flowers on a piece of background paper, and just closing it up and making a little pocket out of it, such as so. And just kind of, I've been collecting these beautiful petals for a little while, and I thought, let's do something with them. Let's do something with them, because they're so pretty. So what I have done is, gathered all gathered supplies I made this prototype just to see how it would work and it turned out pretty good and I have this left over from the other envelope and I'm thinking to myself what else can I do with this you know because this is a sleevey thing and I could like psh, 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 something on a page I don't know so might be another idea somewhere down the road so putting that in my little uh, crafty excess long catch-all. So what I brought out, oh, I forgot to say I love you guys. Thanks again for coming on over. <laughs> uh, some stencils, and I've got my um, distress inks next to me. Some stencils that I can use to decorate the outside of the envelope. I have um, a tweezers. This is from my jewelry kit. So, but any kind of tweezers will do, especially when you're working with some of the finer florals, you know. Sorry about the glare. Glossy's gonna glare. Um, so my flowers, obviously, some lily of the valley, some leaves, and these are from the current garden that I have. And uh, yeah, just some things I've picked up. Here's some Oh, I don't even know. I forgot. Uh, not lilies. I forget. Oh, my goodness. I don't remember. But this is a Christmas cactus blossom. And I have these translucent, white, clear. I'm not sure what they're from, but how beautiful are those? They just, they just look like almost tissue paper. They're just so fragile and pretty. That might go good on some black paper. What else do I have? Oh, one of these little orange, um, let me think, give me a second, straw flower? I'm not sure, maybe. So those are the, those are the gist. I have a lot of these purple ones. Got some tiny, uh, um, some more of those. Oh, where are they? I have some little purple ones too. Little tiny purples. And this has some leaves in it. And some... Yeah, look at those colors. I love those colors. Look at that. So pretty. Colors, colors. Pretty, pretty. So I'm going to make a couple of them and we'll see how they turn out. Oh, look at these. Oh my. A little moonflower. Isn't that gorgeous? Just plain and simple. Lovely. Um, yeah. So I set that up there a little bit. So and then I brought out some papers that I thought might look good. I've got these little cellophane hearts too. And they they <laughs> static. Everywhere. Anyway, so they bounce. But yeah, these are these make little pretty little embellishments. And for glue, I've got this gem tack. It's permanent glue and it dries clear. I also have my fabric tack, but this I can use a brush on because it's pretty liquidy. Um, stronger than Elmer's, uh, you know, the liquid glue. And I bought it for some jewelry that I never made. Some, you know, be bejeweled type stuff, but Anyway, it works okay for this. At least that's what I have on here, and it seems to be okay. I mean, it hasn't broken down at all. But yeah, it turned out cute. Just added some washi tape and uh, 
a strap of ribbon and we're good to go. Didn't do anything with the black just because that's going to be part of the, it'll just be covered up. So let's get my book here. Let's see where will I put these? These fair be there. This page is really boring. Could do something like that and it would be a pocket tuck, you know, with a, yeah, it's just a pocket and a tuck. It'd be something like that. Okay, so first I need to make sure that my envelopes are going to have, are going to work. And so for this, I've got stuff on the front that I'm going to have to, going to have to get off somehow. And call today, Direct TV. Let's see. Oh, and I'm gonna have to do something about the bottom because this one obviously cut that way to open it in the beginning. But that might make it easier to slide in the paper, right? Because what, what I found, the tricky part was getting it, putting it inside so that it didn't glue or mess up the cellophane here. So, and I, these pages, I'm not sure about this color. I'm gonna experiment. I think I will make another, oh, on the back, back of this one was, was just um, coffee dyed paper. So that's why it's kind of plain that way. Let's get a leaf. Where's my, where's my tool? Oh, pretty. Look at the colors on there. Now my dexterity is not awesome. I like the little swirlies on the bottom of this one though. And these are pretty fragile. We're just gonna, they're just gonna, you have to be super careful not to crackle them. I had some coffee today, I'm a little shaky. A little too much coffee perhaps. And all of my flowers right now are in a container that was a big, huge bladder bag of broccoli cheddar soup from Safeway. <laughs> uh, yeah, funny, huh? Oops, I just tipped over all my hearts. Oh, not good. Not good, not good at all. Oh well, they'll be easily accessible. Let's take my other lily. Oh, it already broke a little. See how pretty that'll be? Okay. Well. Yeah, and I just put mine in wax paper or those cotton, my flowers, the cotton um, makeup removal pad things. What else? I want to find those little, I have some small purples. Small purple. I think I found them. These. Although you can't see it on the green very well. Okay, that's going to be another one. Definitely another one. So what if I add, and seeing these windows are a limited space. So some of these larger flowers, I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to do it. What do you think? Something like that. And I'm gonna try this paper. I'm probably going about this in a really backwards way. I need to find out how big my paper is. We'll see, now this color obviously is gone. You can't see it. So maybe not, maybe not that. What about a green? That would work. Oh, I think that's pretty. That might be fine. I'm gonna give that some um, let me 
I have to do two things first. I have to decorate this a little bit and this a little bit. So I'm gonna set the flowers that I've chosen up over here. Okay, so that'll be good for this. And let me make sure that I have this about the right size for it. And what I did to make sure that my <clears throat> my um, window, I wouldn't glue over or extend the window. So I took my, actually let me use the pointier one, this, the tip of this, and you can use any kind of, uh, any kind of a pointy thing, you know, the embossing tool type thing, or that, not embossing tool. Well, maybe, I guess. So I just did this, border oh boy well that doesn't matter and I just made an impression from the window and hopefully that won't and then you can kind of see it hold on there it is see it you can kind of see it while I'm going to be putting on the thing and I need to also cut it down And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be behind. Behind the window, like so, it'll be back there. And so I'll have room for here to glue. And the thing about this too, I have to, for gluing, the cellophane doesn't do well with certain types of glue. So I did use the gem tack on this, on the previous one, wherever I put it. And it seems to be holding really well, but I think I got it enough on the edge so that it doesn't, um, it didn't hit the cellophane. Do you know what I mean by that on the inside? Because they, you know, it's, it overlaps the window, the cellophane does. So what you want to do on this is glue it close to the edge here so that, uh, so that it doesn't uh, hit the cellophane. So otherwise, if you want to try using double-sided tape, double-sided tape does work on cellophane. So fun fact. Okay, so I've got my impression there. So let's get some in this here. Can I still see the impression? Let's make it a little folder so I can see it on the other side. And that's how we do things. We, we experiment. All is good. I just need a general idea of where this is going to end up. This side's not dark, bold enough. Just so that when I glue my flowers in, I will have, there we go. You can see that pretty good now. for behind that and now let's look at this now I'm gonna have to cover it up with some sort of paper because of the words so I have grab out of these I've got some new simple stories <laughs> Something like that. Look at this. It's fun though. Fun, fun, fun. Lots of things to do. Lots of crafts to make.
see this. How are we looking so far? This is all pre-floral. I think I want this a smidge thinner. Just a smidge. Okay, so there's a start to the, that looks good to me. So I'll do washi tape or something on the bottom there to get rid of this number. Oh, I have an idea. all said and done okay so now I can begin to place my flowers onto this or should I double side the tape first get that on there oh goodness So, uh, we interrupt this regularly scheduled program for camera fix. The whole thing just collapsed on me. <sighs> Time to breathe. Just breathe. Anyhow, where was I? I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, I was going to double side this. Okay. All right. Getting back on track, my friends. Getting back on the track. So... Let's do this here. Okay, okay, it's all good. Everything about it is wonderful. It's all wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Who watched Lawrence Welk growing up? Anyway, so I decided on the double-sided tape on the inside and we'll see how that works once I get to the end of it all and try to put it together. Cause you know, obviously I'm gonna keep the keep the one side up or on it until I'm ready to slide it in. So now, fun part, you know, I need to move some things. I'm a little, little overwhelmed here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this side. Again, the gem tack and we'll see. So it's pretty liquidy, right? But it says it uh, bonds everything, dries clear. Um, only thing is it's supposed to allow to dry for 24 hours. It's a long time, a long time. So, but I'm not bedazzling things. And I have a brush around here, a paint brush. So let's get the leaves on first. Which side? Which side? I think I want it to go that way. Okay. But again, my dexterity these days, I don't know. Let's just hold it.
Okay, well, <laughs> I had got totally, totally derailed. Someone came to visit right after my my camera setup just kind of collapsed on me. And so I had to refigure that. I get ready to start again. Someone comes to visit, but they give me a whole bunch of paper. <laughs> they came to just, um, they were helping a friend move and that friend had a bunch of scrapbook paper they weren't using anymore. So they gave it to me. Anyway, I need to get back to this. This has been sitting for a day. Um, and I'm noticing, I'm gonna zoom you in just a little here. that the it's starting to crack already it's starting to crack you can see right there yeah and the white isn't showing up as like I wanted it to but this is well this is we live and learn right we craft and we create and we understand things better as we go but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna add my lilies. tricky part. I'm going to peel off the double-sided tape. That's not going to have the leave the bottom. So I need to put a, a strip down here as well. Um, and I think I went over, I just realized my line, sorry, my line right there. I just put this heart over that line. So I'm going to reattach this heart. got merit. No. Now I'm going to pop over to my sewing machine and do a, a round on there. Okay. Okay, friends. So let me show you closer. I have a really pale pink thread in there, but there's black also on the other side and I just decided to do it this way but it still looks pretty it looks you know handmade and and uh, it's got charm so uh, for this one I made it a pocket but this one I closed up completely just because I didn't have a very firm edge right there so what I'll probably use this for is a tuck spot not a journal card because you can't 
you're gonna ruin it <laughs> if you try to write on the back of it. But uh, I might do some, do a little more decorating on this one. Give it maybe a word here would be pretty. I'm not quite sure yet. But uh, I'm gonna make a few more of these, and I will get, and we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. Okay, so I'm working more on another one and I decided to use my flowers from my Christmas cactus from last uh, year. And so I'm just getting ready to glue down, put everything in its places. It's a little time consuming and it takes a bit of patience for certain to create something with such meticulous tools um, I, I, that does require patience it does so um, yeah get your get your scraps out and your flowers that are dried there's again a lot of video what you can do with dried flowers. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. I am always glad you're here and spending some time with me. I love you. And I pray that you're doing well, that you're staying healthy, feeling loved, and that you're experimenting with your intrinsic values, trying to decide what makes you, what makes your art yours and gives you joy that way. So you guys, that's what I have for today. I uh, love you again. And as always, friends, take care and God bless. Bye-bye.